All right, according to Tyrant Slayer Studios, lucky for us, he tweaked himself out. Also, according to Tyrant Slayer Studios, he was a worthless criminal troll who made a living stealing and lying. The world is a better place. Drugs are bad. Don't be like Schrodinger's cat. Don't do drugs. Don't steal from others. Don't be a liar and attempt to make a living defaming others. Don't smoke meth. Or you could end up just like he did. Jugs are bad, okay? What an asshole. Of course you realize this means war. Okay, everybody. It is November 29th. It's approximately 9 o'clock in the morning. And we are here at Fernand Police Department. We're here for a number of reasons today. Uh, first and foremost, we want to talk to the Chief of Police, the new Chief, John Kelly. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tyrant Slayer Studios doesn't lie. He's above that. Except, I mean, every word that comes out of his mouth, that's all. Like, for example, just now. Our primary goal is to talk to the chief. Now watch at the end of the video when he talks to the chief and tells him that his primary goal was to get documents and lies to the chief. It stated at the beginning of the video, he just said that his primary reason is to speak with the new chief. But when he actually does, his story changes. Wow, well, amazing how that works. But Schrodinger was the liar, right? 14794, yes. Okay, so I looked that up, it's not done yet. Um, right, uh, I, I think we have a serious problem in regard to that because this is, uh, the call came in on November 6th. It was a, supposed to be a simple trespass. Here's another really good one. I love this one. It's great. Okay. It was supposed to be a simple trespass, but he hasn't filled out the paperwork yet. Yeah. A simple trespass. A simple trespass. So he needs to drop all of his domestics and all of his violence and all of his hardcore drugs and all of his serious crimes so he could waste his day filling out your baby little meaningless trespass paperwork. You're the one who said it was a simple trespass. Well, if it's such a big deal, then maybe that's why it's not number one on his priority list. But no, you wouldn't think of that because you're an idiot. Um, and it appears that uh, Officer Roberts has completely neglected his duty and failed to file the police report that's supposed to be going along with this call to service. Is he available here today for comment on this? Uh, no, he's not. Oh, okay. Uh, I believe he works second shift. I don't know if he'll be Second there. shift? All right. Uh, can can I take a look at his personnel file, his disciplinaries, and if his accommodations? that, we'll just have you fill this out. Well, what um, is this? It's just an FOI thing, so if you want to write exactly what you want here. Uh-huh. Okay? If you could fill out any information here. Uh-huh. Um, and then don't worry about the box. Well, all right, so here we go again. She just showed him, gave him the paperwork, showed him and explained to him exactly what he needs to do to fill it out. But later on, when he talks to the chief, he's going to claim that he's being denied service. If he's being denied service, why did she give him the paperwork? Why did she explain exactly what he needs to do to fill it out? How is that denying anything? What a dumbass. Well, I'm not, I'm not requesting uh, records to retain. I'm just simply looking to inspect his personnel file while I'm physically I here today. I don't have access to that. Oh, uh, who has access to the personnel I files of the police guess. officers here? I'm not my face. I'm not really comfortable with that. I'm so sorry. You are a public servant. Maybe you should get a job in the private sector. Um, I do need some, some help with that. Oh, yeah, look at that. So uh, am I being denied services here? Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. All right. What just happened? She gave him the paperwork. She told him how to explain it. She offered services. She politely asked if he could not film her face. He didn't say, you legally have no right to film me. How dare you? You turn that camera off now, mister. No. 
She said, I don't feel comfortable with you filming my face. And instead of being a decent human being and saying, oh, I'm sorry that this makes you uncomfortable, I'll stop because that's what a decent human being would do. Instead, he berates her. Says, well, why don't you get a job in the private sector if you don't like being filmed? Nah. Like a little kid on a playground. So she closes the window on him. Once again, you'll see when he talks to the chief of police in a few minutes, he doesn't say anything about him being a jerk and him talking smack and him being rude to her. All he says is that he asked for paperwork and then all of a sudden she slammed the thing in my face. Oh, I don't know why. Why would she do that to me? Oh, maybe because you were being a dick. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Now we're going to go live. Now we're going to go live. Oh, no. The cops must be shaking in their boots. Not live on YouTube. No, not that. Please, please, sir. Please, anything but that, sir. Yes, hi. I'd like to um, do a physical inspection on uh, an arrest record uh, pertaining to a Jacob Kilhenny. There was a uh, case file that uh, was not yet public for quite some time. I've been after it for almost a year now. I believe the uh, arrest was made in March of 2020. Right. Well, I, I don't need to get records from the chief. Usually your records department here is responsible for, for, for providing all of that public information, but your records custodian is denying me records right now. And I just saw another citizen walk in and successfully acquire the records she was after by going through you. So I'm wondering if uh, you would be so kind to do that same courtesy for me. Interesting that he edited that part out. I didn't make that cut. He did. So he just saw someone else come in, get paperwork, and walk out. I wonder if that person that he saw was shoving a camera in the lady's face. I wonder if that person that he saw was telling her, You need to get a private sector. You want to be filmed. Or I wonder if the other person who came in filed the correct paperwork and followed the correct procedure to get the paperwork she needed and that's why she got it hmm i wonder gee i don't know because he conveniently cut that bit out damn this guy's an asshole can i help you oh hang on i got i got uh are you the chief hey. all right i got chief, uh, chief john kelly out here now uh thank you so much mr kelly tyrant slayer studios nice to meet I, you i don't feel well i'm not sure uh, all right hey well, thanks for showing up to work anyway. I appreciate that. Listen, we've got a number of serious issues I'd like to address with you, and I'd like to get your comments on these issues, if you'd be so kind to give me some of your time today. What can I help you with? <clears throat> well, first of all, your records department is open right now, right? It is. Okay. Does it look open to you? What do you need? I came down here for a number of records to inspect a number of records. I was being helped, and then when I asked for the personnel file to inspect right. a personnel file of one of your officers, I was met with a steel door. When I asked for the personnel file to inspect a personnel file of one of your officers, I was met with a steel door. You are a public servant. Maybe you should get a job in the private sector. Um, I do need some, some help with that. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. So uh, am I being denied services here? Is there a reason why you guys are uh, withholding and obstructing public information from the public as opposed to just letting me inspect the record? Who are you looking for? Um, well, I'm looking for a number of case files, and I'm looking for the personnel file on Officer Hammock and Officer Roberts, badge number 256. I just want disciplinaries and commendations. It should take 10 minutes to print that stuff out. I could be right out here in this lobby waiting patiently. I'll go ahead and review those records. And uh, then from there, we'll go ahead and look at some arrests and some case numbers, one of which is uh, case number 21-14794 involving Officer Roberts, who has failed... Roberge, R-O-B-E-R-G-E, Roberge, Roberge, I don't know how to pronounce it, probably butchering that, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, 
He's had about a month's time to fill out his police report relevant to a trespass that he responded to on 11-6. They know what the case number is. Yeah, they know the case number. They don't have a case. He, he, failed, he, he failed to fill out the report is what the problem is. All right, we'll get it done. Okay, so that's, that's one issue, but I, I still need to look at his personnel file. I wanna find out how many disciplinaries he has before I leave here today. Okay. okay, the other issue is, I've been calling your department about criminal violations of our laws. Mm -hmm. Connecticut general statutes, felony statutes, misdemeanor statutes, criminal statutes, violations of criminal statutes. Calling this police department and they're telling me I need to go and address those criminal violations in a civil court proceeding. Does that make any sense to you? They're refusing to uphold and enforce criminal law and they're refusing to issue citations, arrests, or even address an issue. They refused to do a well-being check a few days ago. Are you aware of that? I'll look into it. Well, these are very serious problems and there's a 12-year-old minor child whose life has been in grave danger, whose life was neglected, who your officer Hammock refused to do a well-being check on about 72 hours ago. Do you find that acceptable? Ah, yes. And there it is. That's the meat and the potatoes of the whole thing. If you've been following this guy and his narrative from the beginning, it's all about his daughter and how terrible she's being treated by the people she's at. How it's of dire importance. He's actually stated on several occasions that he needs certain paperwork to save her life. His daughter's life is the most important thing in the world to him. He would do anything for her, except put his camera down for five seconds. He still has never addressed the fact that every time he's had an opportunity to get the paperwork that supposedly, according to his words, would save her life, all he had to do was turn his camera off and they would have given him paperwork every time but he won't turn his camera off so obviously recording and getting adsense revenue is way more important to him than his daughter if it isn't please tyrant slayer studios please explain to me why you continue to record if all you had to do to save your daughter's life in your words was to turn off your camera why not if your daughter is the most important thing in the world to you why not turn the camera off so you could get the paperwork so you could save her life? But no, filming is more important. Making AdSense revenue is more important. YouTube money. Ha ha ha. Schrodinger's the evil one. Piece of shit. I'll look into it. Okay. Would you please look into why your custodian of records has your window still closed? If you are a public servant, maybe you should get a job in the private sector. Um, I do need some, some help with that. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. So, uh, am I being denied services here? Okay, I want I want my records. We're open for business. Okay, we can, we can service requests. She's not responding to me at the window. Can you please? I'm, I'm, I'm she has right. Well, are you going to get the records for me? If they're available. Okay, great. That would be great. Um, but I would also the personnel files. I've, I will acknowledge a request, and we will work on that. On the personnel files. Okay. Correct. Now, would you be able to comment on? Um, I know you weren't the chief. I know you can't really speak for anyone else's work, but as incoming chief, you must have been briefed to some degree by the previous chief, James Kelly. Um, did he make you aware of a Freedom of Information Act request that's nearly six months old that's been violated that he's used the town attorney to block? I'm, I'm aware of that, and that right. request is ready to go. It is ready to go. Interesting. Because I've been, I called you about two weeks ago and you never returned my call. Is there a reason for that? your voicemail saying that that information was here you call somebody called the town hall looking for it for the town attorney because the previous chief yep. wouldn't communicate with me records wouldn't communicate with me your yep. department wouldn't communicate I with me and no for back. right but to I, clarify I, for the audience here i did not and i apologize for that okay thank you for calling me back i sincerely appreciate that okay. however if i may explain to the audience that the chief the previous chief that this man just replaced thought that I need to acquire those records through the town attorney and has been blocking my access to those records for six months. I, I've been calling the town hall and trying to reach the town attorney for like three or four months. And, and finally I got a voice message and he still has yet to return my call. In fact, it seems to me there's two or three, maybe even four attorneys on retainer by this town. So even getting the, the town attorney is, is next to impossible. And I also find it alarming that Dan Champagne, the mayor, is holding dual office right now. And 
I haven't been able to get a hold of him in either to address the criminal issues and the, the negligence taking place in this police department. I hope you are the man to fix it. I hope you could kindly give me the courtesy to educate my records, my custodian here, the custodian of records, that she's a public servant and that the citizens of the United States have rights. One of those rights is protected by the First Amendment. It's called freedom of press. When she is in the official course of her official duties, she has no right to privacy. So when I walk over to this window to inspect records, to, to, to submit a FOIA request, to ask questions or conduct business here with my public servants, I have every right to film her. She is breaking the law and denying me services by closing that window and obstructing my right to public information. I would like you to educate that young lady and let her know that she can't do anything about the public filming her in the course of her public duties. I would like the young lady to, to be professional and treat me like a human being and finish the business that we were conducting at the window because as chief, you've got far too many, way more important things to be doing. Is that correct, sir?